I got realness, I just kill shit cause it's in my DNA I got millions, I got riches building in my DNA I just win again, then win again like Yo, what up, guys? This is your boy, son, TJ, man. How's it going, everybody? And now we're in the post-era of learning about Goku's new form. Um, this is being recorded before we even know the name of it. And I decided to put all my jokes aside because I'm really known for making fun of Vegeta. I want to talk about how powerful do we want Vegeta to get and how powerful you think he's going to actually become. Now, when I'm making this, I want to let you guys know there's no bias. I'm not trying to make jokes here because Vegeta's always known for being second place or second fiddle to Goku and sometimes to Gohan. And But Dragon Ball Super has really brought him back to be a rival to Goku, either, either being equal to Goku's like second strongest form or being close to it. And so far, Vegeta has shown to be either equal to Super Saiyan Blue Goku or a little bit stronger than, but Goku having the edge always either in Instant Transmission or Kaioken. And it kind of feels like Vegeta, he will surpass Goku like a little bit from time to time, but he'll never like stay at that spot. And I know a lot of fans, especially a, a lot of Vegeta diehards, want him to be stronger than Goku like permanently. But for me to be very realistic, I don't see that happening. Goku's the main character. And he arguably, like, because this has been a lot of polls, Goku's a little bit more light than Vegeta. And it just doesn't seem like a good place for it because if Vegeta does surpass Goku, he has shown plenty of times that if Goku's dead or not around, he comes, he becomes complacent. He wa he just wants the feeling of being stronger than Goku, but once he has it, he doesn't know what to do. He loses all motivation to train. And Vegeta without the motivation to surpass Goku is not Vegeta anymore. And um, I remember in my last discussion I did, I think, um, uh, how strong do I want Goku to become? And funny thing is, YouTube didn't find that advertiser friendly, and I'll try my best not to curse, but these mother scudders don't know who they mess with <laughs> with this stuff, because apparently you gotta have a thousand views or above for them to even check your video. So, yet again, they're hoeing us. But, Vegeta, I really do see him always getting the form right after Goku, like, but the thing is, is that. Vegeta really needs his own Kaioken because I'm, I'm going to make a video later on discussing this but no matter how many times Vegeta gets Goku's form I don't see him ever really beating Goku in overall like he might win a battle but he'll never beat a better man because he, Goku either has Kaioken or something surpass him and now we have this new limit breaking power that Goku has and I think Vegeta is eventually going to get it because that's usually how it works except he hasn't gotten Super Saiyan 3 um, only in video games he's gotten Super Saiyan 3, and he's gotten Super Saiyan God in the manga, but in terms of the anime, it was mostly known, Vegeta usually gets the form after, only just a few, two occasions he does it. And um, I want to know what the fans think. Do you want Vegeta to be permanently stronger than Goku for once, or do you think that's kind of illogical, and you just want him to be able to always match Goku in his second strongest form, or do you want to be equal permanently to Goku? I just don't see him being stronger than Goku. I can see him probably being equal, but it doesn't. It's not going to really matter because Goku's always going to have Kaioken to stack it up. But I'm going to make a video discussing how broken Kaioken is now that Dragon Ball Super has really brought it back, so it could be used on top of God forms. But I definitely want to see later on Vegeta unlock Limit Breaking. Or matter of fact, I really would like Limit Breaking to be Goku's own thing and Vegeta unlock his own path because. Uh, I'm talking about like I really want Vegeta to be a rival to Goku and be somewhat equal to him but if I really had it my way I have Vegeta have his own ability where it's kind of like Kaioken or go to go his own path like you know how when Goku um, Goku and Gohan was fighting Goku asked why you're not going Super Saiyan Gohan says he wants to unlock his own ultimate form um, but I, I would say I like Vegeta to have his own like path to unlocking power and I think I also discussed whether I wanted Goku to be omnipotent or not. But I think Vegeta really, his place is to always be a rival to Goku and to be somewhat on par with him. Because him being stronger than Goku, he doesn't become Vegeta anymore. He loses all his motivation to train. And a lot of people love, love him because of his snarkiness and that he loves to train so much. So, yet again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please share this with your friends. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. And yeah, man, I'm going to try my best to have more intellectual talking. Um, even when I play video games, I'm most likely going to curse. But I really want to... It's, it's, it's smarter to be able to say more words than to say beat, 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 you know, the curse words all the time. I think it, it will test me to speak more confident and more intellectual. I can't even say words correctly, so whatever. So yeah, if you like the video, man, like the video. Sun, teach out. Peace. Love you all. Thank you.